The only difference between Christians and everyone else is forgiveness. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Jennifer Benson Schultz. In his book, Jumping Through Fires, David Nasser tells the story of his spiritual journey. Before he began a relationship with Jesus, he was befriended by a group of Christian teens. Although most of the time his buddies were generous, winsome, and non-judgmental, David witnessed one of them lie to his girlfriend. Feeling convicted, the young man later confessed and asked for her forgiveness. Reflecting on this, David said that the incident drew him closer to his Christian friends. He realized they needed grace, just as he did. We don't have to act like we're perfect with the people we know. It's okay to be honest about our mistakes and struggles. The Apostle Paul openly referred to himself as the worst of all sinners. He also described his wrestling match with sin in Romans 7, where he said, I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. Unfortunately, the opposite was also true. The evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. Being open about our struggles puts us on the same level with every other human alive, which is right where we belong. However, because of Jesus Christ, our sin will not follow us into eternity. It's like the old saying goes, Christians aren't perfect, just forgiven. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Romans chapter 7, verses 14 through 25. We know that the law is spiritual. But I am unspiritual, sold as a slave to sin. I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do, but what I hate, I do. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. As it is, it is no longer I myself who do it, but it is sin living in me. For I know that good itself does not dwell in me, that is, in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. Now if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. So I find this law at work. Although I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being, I delight in God's law. But I see another law at work in me, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work within me. What a wretched man I am! Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? Thanks be to God, who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, I myself in my mind am a slave to God's law but in my sinful nature, a slave to the law of sin. That's today's scripture reading from Romans chapter 7, verses 14 through 25. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I worship you as the only perfect human ever to live. Thank you for making it possible for me to have victory over sin. In your name I pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.